Good evening, everybody. You are listening to Simply Jewel, a typical podcast where we are atypical of the average. And I'm just taking this time to be a little transparent where I'm realizing that people are just inconsiderate. And I'm wondering why that is. Is it because they didn't have any role models? Is it because people just don't care? Is it because nobody's going to say anything to them because if they do, they're afraid that somebody's going to jump off and say something to them that may hurt their feelings? I'm not sure, but what I do know, go inside the house and lock the door if you can. I'm, I must say I'm a little fortunate because I get my work done early in the morning and then I work at home the rest of the time. Sometimes I'll do an all-nighter and then I'll go to sleep at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and have to be back up at, at 9 or 10 a.m. But when you're on a mission, you're on a mission. But I will say one thing. Being very sensitive to the energies around you and you know that it's like sometimes you feel like it's on purpose and sometimes you feel like people really are not paying attention or you wonder where is their mindset what are they doing I don't know I'm just in that moment where I feel like I'm very sensitive to energy around me and I just try to stay away from negativity. And you hear me say that all the time, that I stay away from negativity because I really I really don't want to be in that space where I have to feel like I need to explain what it is that I see because most of the time, or feel, because most of the time people don't get it anyway. Does that make sense? It's like if you're sensitive to things around you, most people aren't even aware of the things that you're sensitive about. So yeah, this is a little bit deep today. So for those that get it, keep listening. And for those that don't, it's okay. You're free to go to another channel. But right now, I want to talk about being sensitive to energies. And a lot of people don't realize it because one one reason is if you eat a lot of different foods and it's a lot of carbohydrates, a lot of fats, a lot of sugars, you... I guess what I'm trying to say is you have a hard time trying to connect to different energies around you. There's energies around you all day, every day. Some people are so into themselves or so into their issues that they really don't pay attention to that. Well, that's fine too. But for those that pay attention and you're trying to get somewhere and you know that you're trying to elevate, that's the time when you really have to fly solo. It's a lonely road, but yet it's rewarding because you do move forward and you do get, you know, some things accomplished. You can accomplish a lot. So that's another reason why I say you've got to eat right. You've got to Um, drink water. You definitely have to exercise because it makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes and you don't know which way to go. You don't know what, what you should be thinking, if you're thinking right, if you're going in the right direction. But yeah, you are, you know, especially if you're focused on making a difference. And if you're focusing on accomplishing a goal but what I do notice is that people are so into um, everybody's got a journey and everybody's got things to accomplish but yet it seems like they only are aware with what 
their purpose is and not other people's purpose or understanding. And I think that's where we're missing in life. We're missing that connection of where we talk to people to find out what they're thinking, what they're feeling. Um, And then there's a lot more. But yet, in these times, I think it's necessary to take time to yourself and regroup, revisit, reorganize, reprioritize. That's just something that I think we have lost along the way because everybody was so used to that hustle and bustle. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm a little sensitive and feel a different type of way because those are the things that I notice. Those are the things I think about. But yet, there's also other people that think the same way. It's just, there are very few in a haystack. It's like picking a needle in the haystack to find people that that get you or to find people that resonate with the things that you're interested in, the things that you think about. But I just wanted to come by and and have this moment to to put that out there and let others know that it's okay to think like that. It's okay to feel a certain kind of way, but just remember if you are around people that don't understand that and they don't get it, then you pretty much have to stay to yourself until you get through it and to, and to love yourself and encourage yourself and to speak life into yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you don't encourage yourself, nobody else will. And the ones that will... They may, they may speak words of encouragement and niceties, but they don't understand that feeling, that feeling that you get when you're in that moment. So I just wanted to say, be encouraged, keep motivating yourself, even when you feel like you're in that low um, point and you're not sure which way to go. It's okay. Just remember to keep motivating yourself. I've even tried to push myself at times. And then there were times where I just said, forget it. I'm just going to sit down and do nothing. Or sit down and do something that you don't even have to think about. So be encouraged, everybody. And like I said, this is just a moment of thought a moment of of encouraging others who have like minds. And yeah, don't forget, you can get a little frustrated. You may even say some things and then you get frustrated and say some more things. And then you calm down and you're like, okay, let me regroup. Let me catch myself because this is not a good feeling and then all of a sudden two or three days later that good feeling will come back and you'll be able to push yourself into a positive direction you may even feel like going out looking around going outside breathing fresh air just stuff like that excuse me so yeah it's just one of those moments where I wanted to do a little episode to speak life and to encourage myself, actually, while I'm telling you, I have to practice what I preach. And so this is one of those moments. I'm practicing what I preach, but I'm also letting you know it's okay. Have a good night. And until next rewrap, You are listening to Simply Jewel, a typical podcast. Peace and blessings.